The 1969 elections brought to the parliament of Speaker Justice Ni Ama Olenu, the Progress Party, PP, the National Alliance of Liberals, NAL, the United Nationalist Party, UNP, United Action Party, UAP, or People's Republican Party, APRP, and an independent candidate. The NAL, the UNP, and the APRP merged to form the Justice Party. The short-lived 1969 legislature was succeeded by the 1979 body with Mr. Justice Jacob Hakenbeck Griffiths Randolph, yet another eminent judge, as the elected Speaker of the House. That parliament was considered one of the more colourful of our history, given some of the interesting events at the time. The most outstanding event was the rejection of the budget of 1981 presented by government. A motion by the minority to reject the budget was passed with support from a majority of the House. That motion was laid by Dr. Jones Oforiata and seconded by Dr. G.K. Agama. This parliament also was short-lived. It was succeeded by the 1993 legislature, which had the National Democratic Congress, NDC, the National Convention Party, NCP, the Eagle Party, EP, and an independent as a party representing the people. It was the first parliament of the Fourth Republic. The speaker of that house was the eminent judge, Mr. D. F. Annan. He would be speaker for the second parliament of the Fourth Republic as well. The second parliament of the Fourth Republic, which sat from 1997 to 2000, had the National Democratic Congress, NDC, the New Patriotic Party, NPP, the People's Convention Party, PCP, and the People's National Convention, PNC, as the parties representing the people in the house. That house had personalities such as J. H. Uso Achampun, one-time parliamentarian in the Third Republic, and J. H. Mesa, one-time parliamentarian in the Second Republic, as majority and minority leaders, respectively. For the first time, there was a female deputy leader of the house in the person of Mrs. Gladys Asma, and a female deputy whip in the person of Mrs. Comfort Uso. The third parliament sat from 2001 to 2004, under the speakership of Mr. Peter Ala Ajete, an eminent lawyer. The NPP, the NDC, the PNC, the Convention People's Party CPP, and some independent members represented the people in the House. Mr. Ala Ajete would shock a record as being the first speaker to act as president of the nation for a day in the absence of the president and the vice president who were out of the country at the same time. The fourth parliament of the Fourth Republic of 2005 to 2008 also saw the same parties in the house as before. The speaker of that house was another eminent lawyer, Mr. Bejina Siche Hughes. The current parliament is the fifth parliament of the Fourth Republic and has as its first ever female speaker of our parliament, Mrs. Joyce Banfordado, who was also the first ever female judge of the Supreme Court of Ghana. The history of parliament, as noted, has seen many faces and faces. Today, we credit all the forebears of this august house who have represented us over the years with this program to bring further awareness of their work and that of their current successors to the Ghanaian public. We hope you have enjoyed this very brief history of the House of Parliament of Ghana. Stay tuned. Mm -hmm.